Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain how to integrate graphs. Integration is a calculus concept, but in this video, what we're going to focus on is physics and how you can take a velocity versus time graph and figure out the total distance and displacement uh, that has been traveled. Uh, first off, the content and language objectives. The content objective is I can calculate the distance traveled using a velocity versus time graph. A language objective is I can write about how distance and displacement differ uh, when looking at integrated graphs. Uh, first off, velocity, position, acceleration. This video assumes you have some background on these topics, uh, but a position versus time graph shows where you are at a given point. A velocity versus time graph would show you your velocity at different times, and an acceleration versus time graph would show you your change in velocity over time. Uh, position is kind of where you're at. Velocity is a change in position, and acceleration is a change in velocity. So as you go from position to velocity to acceleration, uh, that is the calculus concept of differentiation. Uh, the opposite direction, though, is integration. If you have an acceleration versus time graph, uh, determining what your velocity is over some point, or if you have a velocity versus time graph, uh, figuring out what your change in position is uh, over a set of time. And so just these concepts, how they relate to graphs. Uh, if you have a position versus time graph, uh, you can find the slope of your position versus time graph to determine your velocity versus time. You can find the slope of your velocity versus time graph uh, to figure out your acceleration uh, at a given point. Uh, and again, uh, the exact opposite uh, if you are dealing with integration. If you have a change, uh, if you have an acceleration, excuse me, uh, you can figure out your change in velocity. Change in velocity, uh, you can determine your total change in position or delta x. Uh, so integrating differentiation, uh, physics, uh, this graph just sort of shows uh, how these, these different terms, what I was just talking about, uh, what they'd look like uh, visually. So the derivative uh, of some graph, uh, you're going to find the slope at a given point. Uh, the integral of a graph, you would find the area underneath the line, area underneath uh, your graph line. So just an example of an integration problem uh, is shown here. Just kind of worked out, but we're going to walk through it a step at a time. Uh, the first step you're going to want to take when you are integrating a graph, if you're taking a velocity versus time graph and you're trying to figure out uh, what is your total change in position, uh, would be to break your graph into rectangles and triangles where possible. Uh, again, if you have curved lines, that doesn't work so well, but you can fit numerous rectangles under some curve and make things happen as well. Uh, so you can see here I've broken my graph into rectangles and triangles uh, using different colors here. Uh, step number two, you're going to find the area of each triangle and rectangle. Uh, the area for each right triangle that we've got here is one half base times height. Uh, the area of each rectangle is just going to be length times width. Uh, if you're calculating distance, what you're going to do is add all these values. Even the values that are shown as negatives here, because the velocity is negative, you're going to add them all up because distance is the total you know, length that you've traveled. It doesn't matter if you're going forwards or backwards. Uh, it's the absolute value of those. So if I walked uh, from my house, uh, to North High School and then back to my house, uh, the total distance that I've traveled is not going to be zero. Uh, and so 6 plus 12 plus 3 plus 3 plus 24 uh, gives you a total distance traveled of 48. Uh, again, any velocity that's above this zero line is going to be moving forward. Uh, any velocity that's below this zero line uh, would be moving backwards. Uh, calculating displacement is just a little bit different. You'll add all the values that are above the zero line, but you're going to subtract the values that are below the negative line. Uh, because again, displacement is your total change in position from your starting point to your ending point. Again, you're moving forward if you have a velocity above zero, uh, but you're moving backwards, heading back to, towards where you started uh, if you have a negative velocity. So you take 6 plus 12 plus 3 minus 3 minus 24. Uh, and so for this circumstance, you have a uh, total displacement of negative 6 meters. Uh, that's the end of this video explaining how to integrate graphs, how to take a velocity versus time graph and figure out the total distance or displacement. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to stop by during homework help hours or any period 1A. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day.